Governor, thank you. Most importantly, thank you for the leadership that you have applied to this extremely important issue. It's an issue that is penetrating Texas unlike ever before, this victimizing far too many Texans and far too many children. But the reality is, Governor, with the stroke of a pen today, you're sending a message that reverberates across the entire state of Texas, but also penetrates international borders, that sends a message to these traffickers that Texas is a hostile place for human traffickers and will be an increasingly safe place for potential victims of human trafficking. With this law that you're signing into effect today, the penalties are going to be increased and the tools available to law enforcement will be improved so that we will find, we will catch, and we will put behind bars these people who are preying upon others, trafficking children, women, and men also, and make sure they spend their lives behind bars, never reaching the streets again, never harming another potential victim in this state. We wouldn't be here today without remarkable leadership in both the Texas Senate and the Texas House. I've had the privilege of working closely with both Senator Vandepute and Representative Thompson and seeing firsthand their dogged determination to ensure this legislation comes into effect. We would not be here today without these two powerful women. That, that really was. <laughs> Representative Thompson, I just realized I made an unintended pun when I said dogged determination. <laughs> but <laughs> if anyone has it, it is you. But uh, thanks to their leadership, thanks to the members of the Texas House and Senate and to Governor Perry, Texas once again leads the nation in its effort to make our state better by cracking down on this horrible crime. So, Governor, thank you. General. General, thank you. Um, it, is, um, it is comforting to know every night that we have you working with us and for us, and, and uh, you, are, you are a great uh, lawyer to have on our side. Thank you. Uh, let me introduce one of those tireless workers to you now who took care of this on the Senate side, uh, Senator Vandepew. Thank you. Thank you, Governor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, General, and uh, thank you, Governor, and uh, my deepest thanks to our House champion, uh, the Dean of Women in the Legislature, uh, Symphronia Thompson. Um, today is is a significant day in that we tell the rest of Texas and the rest of our country and the world that by signing this piece of legislation, we are closing the doors to traffickers. It's a vile crime. And when you think about the life of forced misery for these women, these children, and particularly some of the young boys, it is something that they are sold. And they're sold because they're profitable. You see, the criminals always try to get one step ahead of us. And they understand they can sell an AK-47, they can sell a gram of heroin just once. But they realize that they can sell another human being 10 times a day. And the stories of the victims will break your heart. They use coercion, intimidation, and drugs. Those victims that come forth need to be protected. And so while this is a significant piece of legislation, because we are getting tough on these folks that have these crimes of greed of human trafficking, we're getting tough on them. It also, for the first time, starts to treat the victims truly as victims and not as criminals themselves. And so my thanks today to our faith-based community, to our social service advocates, the people who try to pick up the pieces of the lives of those who have been trafficking victims. I want to thank the governor, the, certainly the, the general. We've been focused on this now for the third or fourth session. And guess what? We're going to continue. Yes. We're going to continue every single day until 
every person in this country knows that we are closed for business when it comes to human trafficking. Senator, thank you. Um, your passion uh, is always something I greatly admire, and thank you for being uh, such a passionate advocate on this. And uh, no one that I've had uh, in my 26 plus years of being in public service uh, who I admired more, uh, who's been any more of a mentor uh, to me and many other uh, young legislators uh, than the other author of uh, Senate Bill. Uh, or House Bill 3000, and uh, that is the Chairman, Sinfronia Thompson. I want to I thank God for the great state of Texas, for an Attorney General with vision, for a Governor not only with vision but with tenacity to stamp out this crime, and all the advocates who work daily so hard with this. This is a strike for the little dogs, <laughs> the little dogs, the little victims who's out there who get swept into this sea of slavery. And I'm happy to be a part of the toolbox to give the law enforcement the tools to work to free the little dogs so that they can have a future and they can grow up to the potentials that they have given them by God and that we as a society can nurture and help them to be the human beings that they were intended to be. Sinfronia, you remind me of a, a, a Bible passage that said that faith and hope and love, and the greatest of these is love. You reflect that as well as any member of the legislature. So shall we make some law? All right. Yeah.